Okay. Um, hey everybody, it's been a minute since I made a video. Um, the second half of my semester of school was like kind of really stressful. Um, we ended classes on the end of it was like the May, last Saturday in May. Um, and so the past couple of weeks I've just been like decompressing from that, trying to catch up on work, catch up on sleep. I've been having bouts of insomnia. It's just been just like a crazy couple of weeks. Um, on top of doing photo shoots, you know, trying to make some money, of course. And uh, other things, you know, other projects I'm trying to plan for the summer. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm back in Louisiana right now. And we'll be going back to Jersey in the next month or so. So I'm kind of doing back and forth um, while I don't have a place to stay in Jersey. Um just going up there and making a little money, making some connections or whatever. Hopefully, one of these trips back, I will end up finding something permanent so I can stay there permanently. Because um, right now, like, freelancing is not compatible with finding a place to stay. Because people want check stubs. I can't give them check stubs. I can give them a bank account, you know, a summary. I can let them know that money's coming in. But it's really hard to get that, you know. Plus, um, I just want to make sure I have enough work for whatever I find um, on top of that. Even though I can just find something part-time and then freelance, you know, whatever. Um, and hopefully uh, I'll be doing summer school classes and then by spring I will have my master's. So yay! So all that's going on on top of the fact that, you know, I didn't uh, raise my funds for my film. So I was kind of depressed about that. So I didn't get to do my film, which is what I came back for. But maybe something else will pan out. We shall see. Anyway, so let me update you on what's been going on. It's one thing that I haven't done a video on, and I wanted to make sure I did one. Um, and that was me meeting my birth brother or not meeting him, I haven't met him yet, but talking to him, having a conversation with him, building a relationship with him. So, um, and I made some notes just so I remember what to say. So, if you remember on, um, on my family reunion um, video, I that uh, when I went to the house, he wasn't there. So, I, I left my information, stuff like that, and um, he had called while I was driving to to uh, Shreveport. I can't remember exactly because it's been a minute, but I want to say that I called um, his cousin or our cousin and left a message with him because he was calling me too. And then um, let him know basically, you know, that I had, because I think I had something due that night. So I was like, I will, you know, hit you up later, blah, blah, blah. So he and I, or my brother and I didn't get the chance to talk to till the next day. Like, actually, you know, sit down and talk. Because I was more focused on getting my assignment done. And thankfully, I did because we ended up talking for, like, hours. Like, every time we have a conversation, and we've been talking pretty much weekly. Um, I think the very first few weeks, we were talking, like, almost every day or every other day. Something like that. So, um, it has definitely been, like, hours and hours of conversation. It's always good conversation um, to let you know. A few things about him because I told him I was doing this video and I was like well, what can, what can I say or what I can I say and he was like I don't care so I'm gonna tell you what I feel like I should share okay his name is Carlton so um remember when we thought that his name was Kevin like my deceased brother um no his name is Carlton but his dad's name is Kevin so maybe that's where the big up came um and uh so he has a Kevin in heaven and so do I so that's one thing we have in common along with the fact that we have the same mother um he's 40 he's a aquarius and he has the exact same birthday as my best friend or one of my best friends or my bestie that's the one i call um, who lives in texas so that's awesome another thing you know commonalities or whatever um he has a daughter um i'm not gonna say her name but he has a, he has a daughter she's elementary age and she's a cute thing like we get on the phone and she's like real quiet but it seems like every time I get a chance to chat with her even if it's just for like a minute which is mostly when it is um she warms up a little bit more so I can't wait to visit and be around her and maybe she'll warm up even more um but he tells me you know how smart and and um awesome she is and so 
it was like, yeah, she needs you. She needs, you know, uh, strong, I guess, strong women figures in her life or whatever. So I was like, I need her too, because my, my niece and nephew are 20 and 22. And, you know, that phase where they're interested in being around me a lot is gone, long gone. So I miss that. I miss having littles, you know. I have a bonus nephew in Texas, my bestie's son. So I miss having little people who, you know, want to engage with you and things like that. Because grown folks and teenagers, not so much interested. You know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, man, I remember when we used to go, you know, to go get ice cream and go to the movies. And they don't want to do any of that now. So I'm glad I have somebody I can do that with, even if it's just like a couple times a year. Um, let's see what else. We both are hip hop heads. Um, he has, he's told me a lot about the family, like a lot, some stuff. I'm not, but most of it, I'm not going to say because like, we need to write a book about <laughs> this family. So it was a lot, he gave me a lot of tea. Let me just say that. Um, especially about my birth mother. And, um, though they have a sort of strained relationship, um, and we have talked about that, you know, like the fact that just like I told my um, birth dad that I'm trying to keep the relationship separate, like what they have going on has nothing to do with me and her have going on because we have a, you know, our relationship is like brand new. So I'm listening to what he's saying, but not trying to make it prejudice me about her. You know what I mean? So, um, but a lot of the stuff he has told me, you know, makes total sense after hearing the story, talking to her. A lot of stuff makes sense and about his upbringing um he was basically raised by our grandmother Adeline and um and he knew about me uh I think I've said that before like he knew he was told when he was like 18 um and I think he was attempting he wanted to find me but he said something to the effect of like he didn't want to bring me into the mess of the family and stuff like that so um maybe that kept him from from finding me because he was, you know, I guess probably didn't want to mess up my life by bringing me into this, you know, into, into what he thought was a mess of a family. So, um, but anyway, so he thought of, he was like, yeah, I've thought about you ever since I found out that you, you existed, you know, type of thing. So pretty much for half of our lives, we've thought about each other because I didn't know until I was 18 that he existed. So pretty much within two years of each other we found out and um and everything but yeah I haven't seen him in person I've seen pictures I'm not gonna show pictures but I've seen pictures of him um and that dispelled the myth that he was a full brother to me um Gary still believes but <laughs> but and I, I told him like if he wants to take DNA test I would hope it would be to find it about his heritage and his lineage since his father passed so, when he was so young, you know. But um, I'm pretty sure we're confirmed that he is half brother and not full brother. But I'm gonna call him brother, brother, regardless. So um, yeah. So I'm trying. Let's let me see what else. Look my notes. Okay. Um, we talked the next day. Got that. Got that. Got that. Um, he still lives in um Rayville, and. He's, uh, he lives in that house. He just wasn't there that day because, like I said, they sort of have a strained relationship. So when she is in town, he's ghost. And, um, so he wasn't there that day. Now, if the reverse would have happened, if he would have been there and she wasn't, I feel like I would have lost out on something. So I'm glad because I can always go back and visit him. Um, but I think that day I needed to see her and talk to her more than I needed to talk to him even though that was like end goal because I remember telling people like the only relationship that I was expecting or wanting was that with the brother because I kind of felt like um there was a missing piece of me out there somewhere especially having lost both my brothers you know to sickle cell I just felt like there was a missing piece so um that was the main relationship I wasn't really expecting anything from my birth parents but I mean all is good all is good um speaking of them um I've heard from my birth father like once since the reunion and he hit me up just to remind me that he was alive and everything and um I think that's why I was in Jersey so I just hit him up and let him know you know everything was good you know I think he thought I was mad at him because of how he stressed me out over meeting her and everything but um I told him that I would hit him up when I got back to Louisiana which I haven't yet but I will today now that I'm saying this 
um and I heard from birth mom I think like a week or so after Mother's Day I had sent her well she had grandma Adeline down to Houston for Mother's Day so they had like a little weekend with my and her and all that other stuff and um she hit me up after that because I sent her it wasn't a Mother's Day card it was a thank you card you know just basically um it's something I've always wanted to send on Mother's Day if I ever met her so I decided to send it. I felt like Mother's Day would be kind of, um, I don't know what to say, not intrusive, but just kind of weird. Like, you know, I don't know if she claims herself as a mother, but I didn't want to force that label on her. So it's like, okay, I just want to thank you for what you did. And, you know, I think I said Happy Mother's Day. I'm not sure, but I didn't want it to be like, Happy Mother's Day or whatever, you know, like, make it make a big deal out of it I guess I just wanted to you know just say thank you on this day I'm acknowledging the fact that you gave birth to me thank you you know type of thing so and um she didn't she's like me she doesn't check her mail every day so <laughs> so um she didn't get it till like Monday or Tuesday after that it got there on time but she didn't get it till like Monday or Tuesday after that so then it was like uh, she was like, oh my gosh, I love it, you know, it was perfect and everything, and um, I was going to send her a picture, but she told me that she was going to print out one of the pictures I sent her and put it in the frame, which I thought was really cool, um, so I didn't send the picture, but I sent the, the card, and I was going to send my grandmother card, but I forgot about it, so didn't get to that, but I'll be visiting her soon, so I think that's better than a card, right? And um, I don't know when I'm going to visit. I thought I was going to do it at the end of this month, but I kind of like booking stuff here as far as shoot. So it might have to wait until like after the 4th of July. So maybe like mid July. Um, and I plan to leave here either the end of July or beginning of August. So we'll see. Stuff may change between now and next week for all I know. So um, let me see what else. Looking at my notes. Um, oh, what else? What else can I say about Carl Um, yeah, I already said that he gave me all the dish, um, all the tea about the family. Um, said he had a daughter, he's also divorced. Um, so we talk a lot about like relationships because I've been single for like forever. It's been, um, about our favorites, you know, the kind of getting to know you stuff. It's kind of weird because it's like meeting a new friend, even though he's my brother. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like that getting to know you phase where we're trying to see what we have in common. And but we always I mean we always talk. We talk a lot like about different things and it's very entertaining. He thinks I'm funny, which is true. I think he's funny too. Um he's also an artist, like he can draw really, really well. He sent me some of his artwork. So we both have that creative thing in common as well. Um so yeah. We've just been talking. Um, he wasn't a fan of texting, but I know during a couple of the weeks that I was in Jersey, um, we ended up texting each other. We started to email each other, you know, in the days in between, because now um, he's working full time again. And, you know, I have a lot of stuff going on. So it's like hard to have two three hour conversations it was like hey you know i just shoot off an email or whatever and he responds the next day and stuff like that so like i said it's, just, it's still in that kind of getting to know you phase i just can't wait to work around each other to see if it meshes that you know well uh, we're around each other and stuff like that and um to see what happens with the grandmother and the niece and all of that stuff so i don't know and so we'll see but um that's it for now so yay me and Carlton hey brother if you're watching this and yeah we'll be we'll meet soon and hopefully he'll get on a video with me and entertain y'all as much as he entertains me and I'll meet my cousin who um who wants to meet me and I think his father's side of the family also wants to meet me even though I'm not you know blood related to them or whatever um so like I said I have a lot of family to meet and I think it's awesome because um I really missed having a brother and so I'm happy that I found the one that's still out there somebody who's actually interested in you know like proactive and trying to find out what's going on with my life because it kind of reminds me that there are people out there that care about me even when I feel like they don't you know 
So even if I don't keep up communication as well as I should, I know they're out there if I want to talk. And that's good to know. And I, someone had asked me if I had planned to go visit my birth mom and I hadn't planned to. Um, in my mind, I really want something to happen on my birthday or around my birthday to where we do something together. Maybe I will meet, you know, like talk to her again or meet her again by then. Um, but we'll see. My birthday is in August, end of August, so we'll see what happens. I haven't talked to any of my other siblings lately. I'll probably try to connect with them. Maybe like one day I just hit everybody up. I haven't talked to Janet. I did message her the other day because I realized that I had been here like almost a whole month and hadn't contacted her. Um, I really, really want to go visit her or link up with her while I'm here. Um, but I know she's, she's like busy. She's got a lot going on. Um, my family in Dallas, you know, in and out of touch with them. I hope to go visit again. Um, cause I do plan to go to Dallas before I go back to New Jersey. So a lot of family to visit, to keep up with, keep in contact with and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm already bad at keeping in contact with like my, the family that I was raised with. Um, and honestly, like, the only people that kept up with me really were my brothers. Like, they would check in with me when I was in school, you know, send me stuff if I needed something. Um, my, I think my parents came to visit me maybe three times in the whole four years I was in, five years I was in college, maybe three or four times. Um, and I don't have aunts and uncles that check in with me all the time, you know, so it's kind of. I hope they don't think that I'm, you know, like being standoffish or something like that. I'm just, I'm not really used to um, checking in with people or having people check in with me. So I have to get better at that. And I promise y'all I'll get better at that. Um, it's just weird for me to have that kind of attention. Like when uh, every time that I talk to Carlton and uh, Grandma Adeline is in the background, she'll be like, tell her, hey, and I love you and stuff. Like I'm not used to being told I love you all the time. I know that's weird and probably a little bit sad, but it's just the real deal. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I'll try to do better. And maybe that'll encourage me to do better with the Wooder family. You know? Anyway, um, I hope anyone who's started their journey or is on their journey um, is learning. I won't say having a great time because not all of it is peaches and cream, as you can see from my story. But I hope that you're learning things about yourself, about your heritage, about your family. I hope you're learning about um, possibly that, you, you know, you've had a better life than you thought you did. That um, that the people that you are getting to know are adding to your life. I mean, I just I hope there's something positive you can take out of the journey, even if it doesn't end up the way you want. So, but yeah, hit me up. There are people who have hit me up on um, on Facebook, um, facebook.com slash Mahogany Media. You can message me there or um, facebook.com slash Media Diva 318. Um, message me there. Email me if you have questions or anything like that or if you just want to say hey. Um, for those who have messaged me and let me know that it, it inspired them to do the DNA or it inspired them to, you know, search for their roots. I'm happy for y'all. I'm excited for y'all. I'm glad that, you know, I did the videos. Um, for me, it was a little therapy, a little, um, I was trying to be informative. Um, I know at times it might have been entertaining, but I just really wanted to put the story out there so somebody um, who was struggling with the decision or struggling with the journey can see, you know, the struggle, hands down, happens to all of us. So, um I hope I have helped in some way, and some of you have told me that I have, so that's awesome. Um, I really don't have anything else to update, but when I decide on these visits or if something else comes up, um, I haven't really delved into the entire, I think it's right now, I'm just trying to build these relationships. So the entire tree, like people are adding stuff to my tree, adding stuff to the DNA, um, new people are contacting me or whatever. I feel like I've gotten what I wanted out of the journey. Um, so now it's about building relationships. Now later down the line, maybe I'll want to, you know, chase the tree and, and be interested in all of the people who are attached to my tree. Um, but right now it's about, um, you know, I've gotten the answers that I, that I needed and 
I just want to keep in communication with the family and build from there. And great, you know, if I find out other heritage things, I'm still thinking about doing 23andMe. It's like $200. I wish they had an option for you to just get your medical stuff because I already have my heritage stuff and I kind of feel like it's going to be duplicate. So why pay extra $100 for something I already have with uh, Ancestry? But we'll see. If anybody's done 23andMe, let me know if it was worth it. Um, but yeah, that's where I am now. I just, um, most people who are chasing the tree already knew their roots. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they're, they're, um, focusing on the branches because they already knew their roots. And so I'm focused on the roots right now. And maybe later I'll, I'll be interested in the branches. Um, that's how I feel right now. So but anyway, thanks again for watching and I will hit you guys up or I will do another video when I have a reason to. But I just wanted to update you, tell you about my brother and everybody say hey to Carlton because <laughs> he watches the videos. And I will, uh, yeah, I will hit you guys up when I have something to talk about. But yeah, good luck on your journey. And if you haven't watched all of my videos, please do so and subscribe. All right. Bye.